Day 52, equality is the soul of liberty. There is, in fact, no liberty without it. Francis Wright. The golden way is to be friends with the world and to regard the whole human family as one. He who distinguishes between the votaries of one's own religion and those of another miseducates the members of his own and opens the way for discord and irrelation. M.K. Gandhi. This means the message especially is appropriate in today's world. We live in a time when religion has once again become the most devices issue in our world. Otherwise intelligent and in even apparently spiritual. People demonize other religions. The tenor of the current religious discourse, like that of the political, makes it impossible for religion and spirituality to serve its true function, utilizing peace and love as path to oneness. It can and should be a calming balm for an injured and heartsick world. Instead, those who serve fear, anger, and violence seize upon the words of the Quran to prove malevolent intent on the part of or to induce violence in all Muslims, ignoring the love poems of the Sufi movement. In the same way, the words of the Old Testament of the Christian Bible are used to justify an eye for an eye, ignoring the words of peace and forgiveness taught by the central figure in that religion, Jesus. At the same time, those who deny the validity of any spiritual path point to all this as proof that religion is the problem, not the answer. The result is a religious environment that is truly the path to violence, not nonviolence. Gandhi is urging us all, no matter where we fall on the religious spectrum, to accept that we are all on the same path. Only the love, compassion, and tolerance inherent in any true connection with the divine can bring the healing the world desperately needs. Once we see that we are all in our way on a spiritual path to our oneness, only then can we truly walk the path of nonviolence. Whether we seek it through a connection with God or a connection with life is irrelevant, for this is the golden way to nonviolence. Affirmative practice. Today I will meditate on how I live the golden way. Today, I will see how my spiritual path, whatever it may be, can contribute to love, peace, and nonviolence in the world. This is the path to nonviolence.